Well, sweetie, you know, clearly this. Uh, so you're trying to tell me you don't know Oprah's paradox? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> the eight-year-old said, I just listened to Star Talk. And you yeah, exactly. There you go, kids. If you want to be able to call your parents idiots, <laughs> go look up Oprah's paradox and then ask them, why and, does it get dark? And, in, in all fairness to parents, that day will happen with or without us. <laughs> so you might as well. <laughs> That day will arrive. Okay. So true. <laughs> it's so true. So, so might as well be true. in the safe space of Star Talk. That's where, right. Where you can have that happen. Let it be in service to science. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So that's it, Chuck. That's Olber's Paradox. That's very cool. I yeah, love so it. I love Olber's you, Paradox. You got it. You, know? you got it. Let Why me apologize the... to him publicly. I know he's dead, but I'm going to still apologize. <laughs> Clearly, you're not as dumb as I thought. <laughs> Well, no, you can do that's you can give a better apology than that. Clearly, you're smarter than I ever thought I was. How about that? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an honest apology.